John Cena for Prez, what's up? I love my GF0315, Kid Louie, wait, Kid Ui. Kid Ui, I'm sorry. You're so early? Heck yeah, very early. Do I have mango? I do not. I do not have mango, I'm sorry. Opinions on pi pineapple on pizza? It's not my cup of tea. Wait, hold on, who was the first one to share the live? I, I love Najee. I love Najee, thank you for sharing. Appreciate that, thank you. All right, tonight we're gonna start off with some Rambutan. Hope y'all are okay with that. Do you have dragon fruit? I have yellow dragon fruit. I don't I haven't went and got any um of the white or the red in a couple days, but I'm definitely happy to have the yellow with me. What's your favorite watermelon? Which is actually a fruit I forgot to bring tonight. Well actually I have some in the fridge. Hold on, I'll get a little of the yellow watermelon in a second. I even got some avocado toast that uh, my friends at Miami Fruit were, were eating a little earlier. That's a Honduran fruit, which one? Do you eat meat? I do, but I haven't for a while. Can you guys hear the music? Let me get the watermelon. I got a big old watermelon. <laughs> okay. So I got a big watermelon and it's actually seeded you probably wouldn't be able to read it, but this is a seeded watermelon. I went and got that from Sprouts not that long ago, like a day or two. Teresa and C.L. Gunnan. Thank you. Why does the watermelon look like that? I don't, it's, it's a natural watermelon. It's a good watermelon. Do we make you happy? Of course. Of course. Is it okay for me to say you're handsome? Hell yeah, I take it as a compliment. It takes one to know one. I'm only as beautiful as you think I am, thank you. Oh. So tonight, I got some Rambutan, two Grenadillas, yellow dragon fruit. I've got a raw cacao. Miami Fruit's actually doing a raw cacao giveaway. Um, if you hit the link in my bio, you can go check it out on their site. Uh, I said, uh, canepas, and I got some seeded watermelon. But, like I said, I'm also eating a little avocado toast. What's my favorite genre of music? I grew up with all of them, country included, but, um... Even though like I started making music, it was rap music, I've always had more of an affinity for uh, like R&B and soul and funk, you know? Wait, who just said to tap the screen? Thank you for that. Thank you for telling people to do that. I, I appreciate it. It really helps. We're already at 25K. I know somebody's out there going going hard on the tap, and thank you. And we got 65 shares, thank you. Deb S65, thank you so much. Thank you, Caitlin and Luna Dira. You said, what's the sauce on the avocado toast? I'm not sure, but my friends at Miami Fruit had it. It's like, it's a little, it's got some, a little heat to it, like spice, but it's, it's sweet, you know?
Thank you, Billy. And thank you, Asai. Thank you, Asai. Uh, um, what should I eat, y'all? What fruit do you want me to eat first? Um, I've got the canepas, some rambutan. Um, I believe this is what, like argamoya or something? Or anona? Some grenadilla. Chop the cacao. The red one. Cacao. Okay. I'm gonna eat the cacao. So you can just um, cut it open or whatever, but what most people do is just. You hit it. And then. So, like I was telling y'all. R.S.I. Fuentes and Willie G. Thank you. Jared Nicholas, thank you for saying tap the screen. It really helps. You said you sound dull right now. I'm chilling. I feel good. I had a little headache earlier. I don't think I drank enough. Uh, I'm realizing I have to hydrate more being down here in Florida when I'm outside doing content. It's, um, it's hot out there. The sun takes energy out of you. Lorraine and S.I., thank you. You said he's about to, yo, bro, why'd you say that, yo? You said he about to throw that, yo. You, you bugging, bro. Oh, Lord. You funny, man. Y'all wild, bro. You never answered this question. You didn't ask me a question, bro. That's not a question. What's it taste like? It's like a dark chocolate bean. It's like a dark chocolate bean wrapped in like a sweet fruity jelly. Let me show you the inside of one. Hey, we hit 200K. Thank you. Thank you so much. And Asai the Chai, thank you. Hold on. The screen keeps glaring, but it's like a dark chocolate bean on the inside. Deaf grape and a sigh. Thank you. I'm gonna eat some rambutan in the similar family of lychee, longan, things like that. Everyone that says you're not supposed to eat the seed. I'll do whatever the hell I want, you know? Um, most people say that you shouldn't eat the seed because they just don't like the taste. There's no negative health, like, you know, factor in it, but it's good. I like it, you know what I mean? Billy, thank you, Billy. When are you gonna get lychee? When I go, when I go find some. But for now, like, Miami Fruit got a bunch of rambutan, so they just hooked me up, you know? Pink one in the front, I got you. Cooker, thank you. Lady Gonzalez, Nest2694, thank you so much. New room, yeah, I've been, um, I've been crashing with the Miami Fruit gang for a bit. I'm just hang, you know, I'm just hanging here and making content. They're showing me around the farm. I'm learning more about fruit. You sound a bit sick, are you okay? Oh yeah, I'm fine, yeah. Den doing and only Q, thank you. I um, I had a headache earlier when I woke up from like a nap. Some bugger, Billy and LOL, 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 thank you. Hold on y'all, Mam uh, Mamon, wait, what was it? Mamon, Mamoncio, Canepas, Ginep, bunch of names, right? We got the yellow dragon fruit. I'm gonna open. Um, I'm gonna open the watermelon next. I got you. What do I do besides eat fruit? I have a podcast <laughs> where I just like pretty much do like audio and visual journal entries about my life. It's more like documentation purposes. Um, m music. I've been making music for the past ten years. I'm available on every streaming service except for Pandora. I don't know why we got beef.
But uh, yeah, I make all genres of music. I've been doing it way longer than I've been doing TikTok. Billy and Brooke, thank you. How much sugar do I consume? Apparently I consume a lot. But it's natural sugar, so it's different. Frex, thank you, Frex. You thought about me today when you watched Goodfellas? It's the greatest Italian-American movie of all time. I'm glad you dig it. But no, there is no coffee in here. I'm drinking water right now. Differences between Rambutan and lychee. Lychee has like a pink shell. Rambutan's got the hair, hair on it. Um, but in flavor, they're, they're pretty much similar. I think lychee's definitely sweeter, but um, I would say lychee is sweeter, but the seed in lychee is usually a little larger. So I'm just let, look at, I'm just letting y'all know. I'm giving y'all proof. These sporks, right? I'm gonna be selling them very soon. I'm gonna have the fruit for thought, fruit for thought ones. They're not sharp enough to hurt anybody. Like they're they're safe for like us, but they go through fruit. Pretty damn cool, huh? Just cut a whole watermelon with a fork. So yeah. For all you Dr. Sebi fanatics, I, I got some seeded watermelon. Shots fired. Yeah, we got yang. No, we we got we we you know we throwing shade in the fruit community, cause Billy and Ruby. Thank you. How does this fruit not hurt my stomach? It don't. It's just I'm used to it, you know. Thank you, Frex. I appreciate you. Mia, 90, thank you. Is fruit majority of your diet? Probably. These days I would say, yeah, fruit's probably majority of my diet. But I do eat meat. Um, I do eat a lot of vegetables when, when they're around, you know, but, um, I just like showing fruit, you know. What would I say to my younger self? I would tell him to slow down on, on the BS and go harder on his ideas. All of the ideas that my younger self had are things that I'm directly progressing and profiting from, you know. So... C Breezy, Robin55, thank you, welcome back. Irish Queen, thank you. What's the pink fruit? This is like a um a family of like sop, like it's um I believe it's Artemoya or like a a nona fruit or something. Dude, I don't even be knowing. Is the watermelon sweet? Yeah. I mean honestly it, it, it Besides it having seeds, it doesn't taste any different than a seeded watermelon. Cammy, what's up, baby? How you doing? You seem depressed. No, I'm just I'm just chilling right now, man. I'd be I'd be honest. I'd let y'all know if I was depressed, man. I'm not afraid of letting people know, you know. Hmm. I appreciate you being concerned, though. But trust me, I'm, I'm good. Have you ever eaten durian? Yeah. I posted a video recently where I was eating durian. Yeah, you just gotta scroll down. It'll be the video that says durian on it. I love this spoon fork. How was your day? It was good. I went swimming made some videos, posted some videos, edited some videos. Uh, I went live on the gram early in the morning. Had my coffee. Um, it's, 
you know, I, I talked, uh, I talked on the phone with somebody really important, and um, took a nap. But I woke up, I had like a mean headache, dog. I have to make sure I drink more water while I'm down here. Gentlemen, thank you, gentlemen. And Valerie. Valerie. How you doing? Land Cougar. I like that. And Primo, thank you. Hold on, someone said, is there any fruit that makes you lose belly fat? Now look, I'm not an expert and I've never really had to struggle much in that area. But um, now if someone wants to correct me if I'm wrong, I'm okay with that. But I don't really think there's any fruit that magically just makes people lose belly fat. Um, avoiding, avoiding dietary change and exercise is not, is not an option. Um, again, you have to take what I say with a grain of salt because... I've never struggled with um, losing weight. I, I always had, I always struggle with gaining weight. You know, I'm still, right now, for the past month or two, I was 147 even, but now I'm like 143, 145. But like my output, you have to maintain a healthy caloric deficit that isn't um, causing you to sacrifice like nutrients and sustenance, but you have to increase your output, you know? Jeremy and Teresa, thank you. Update on Beach Babe. Is that her name now, Beach Babe? No, we, we were on the phone earlier. I ain't even gonna lie, it's only been like a couple days. I missed the mother, you know what I'm saying? I miss her head. How did I like South Carolina when I drove through? It was gorgeous. South Carolina's beautiful, man. Y'all got a beautiful state out there. Stop. Scoos and gentlemen, thank you. Y'all are y'all are funny, man. Y'all are really sweet. I appreciate y'all even remembering little details about what I'm doing and what's going on. Y'all are funny, dog. All right. Now, do you guys remember the name at home? Do you guys remember the name of this fruit? We got to make sure y'all still learning and remembering things. Scorpio, Country Girl, Frex, Katie, thank you so much. Whoever said passion fruit, you're close, you're warm, but it's not a passion fruit. It's not. It's very similar. Laura, Laura78 said Grenadilla. Spot on. Gold star for Laura. All right. And thank you to everyone saying tap and share. I, I, I appreciate that. But thank you for being here first and foremost. All right, hold on. Let's get a little... I, you know, y'all know I don't really do the ASMR thing, but let's... Hold on. I got a little, a little bit of it to do, right? Hold on. Now, someone was telling me recently with Grenadilla, they were like, yo, just peel off the orange part and keep the white spongy part. And they probably thought I didn't see their message, but I did. <laughs> so, whoever was saying in the last two lives to do that, I got you. I'm going to give it a shot, okay? I, and I appreciate you for giving me some advice. Because I hope y'all know, like, I don't have it on, in my bio that I'm some fruit expert or nothing. I've just eaten more fruits than the average person or, or than I grew up eating because, you know, Miami fruit, 
really, they, they, they put me on to a bunch of different stuff. They reached out to me early and, and that's who I've been staying with recently. Like, I was just eating some, some like vegan meatloaf stuff with garbanzo beans with dude Rain. Cool, cool motherfucker, man. Oh, I shouldn't be cursing on the live. I'm sorry, but you know what I mean. Cool dude, man. Cool cat. We're talking about like fitness and cycling and stuff. Okay, so you can peel the grenadilla. Is the lighting still fine, y'all? Le Motherships, thank you. You said vote for Kane. What is this voting thing? Yeah, cool cat. That's what I should have said. Okay, hold on. So the Grenadilla, you can, I wish it wouldn't glare like this. I have my light down so much and it still glares. Come on, TikTok. But hold on, so it's like a seed sack. Ready? I don't know why the lighting isn't the best. Cause like I have the back, I have behind me lit up and I have my ring light, like, it's ridiculous. So, hold on, Grenadier. It's just very sweet, man. It's hard to explain the flavor, like. But it just reminds me of, like, summertime. Like, I don't know if some of y'all had a GameCube back in the day, but if you remember Super Mario Sunshine, that's what a Grenadilla tastes like. It's just a vibe. Scorpio, thank you, Scorpio. Yeah, the texture, I, I see what you mean. The texture would probably throw a lot of people off, but trust me, man. Once we, uh, a lot of pleasures in life await us if we could just get past the texture. Trust me. Thank you, Carter. Hold on, someone said, how do we vote? Dude, I have no clue. Someone said, eat the brown thing. If I had a dollar for someone told me that. Some raw cacao. Cardo, wait, Carter and Kyle. Thank you. And Scoos, King Pineapple, thank you. Do I wash my fruit before eating? Not really. Penny May and Dina Spencer and Sweet Pea, thank you. Yeah, the raw cacao, it tastes like a pear, uh, no, that, that's dragon fruit. See, look, y'all asking me this, these questions, I've been getting confused, dog. The cacao tastes like a dark chocolate bean wrapped in like a, a sweet fruity jelly. Just Luna, thank you. Thank you, Luna. Upright corner to vote for him? Yeah, I don't know how it works. King Pineapple, thank you. Rue Sixy. And the real store, Just Luna, thank you. Where do you get the cacao? This one was given to me by my friends at Miami Fruit. They actually are doing a giveaway with um, raw cacao. All you gotta do is pay for the shipping. But they got a lot of cacao and they're trying to get, off, get it off, you know? Eat the mamoncillos? Yeah, I, I will. Why did you start saying fruit for thought? It felt like it, man. I like doing what I want, you know? <laughs> I just like it, and it's, um, it's catchy, you know what I mean? It's, uh, it's similar to the old saying food for thought. And, um, you know, I mean, I talk about mental health maintenance and emotional literacy. So, 
I figure, and I eat fruit while doing it. So, hey, why not? You make it to Cali? Not yet. Cool job. What's up, mama? I don't know what it does. Bone Thugs and Alexandria, thank you. But um, thank you to everyone voting. I don't know what the heck it does, but I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, we're gonna eat the canepas. Ginep. Have you tried Monstera Deliciosa? Yeah, I posted a video today, actually, of me eating it. Sam I am and Maggie, thank you. You might have skipped it when the TikTok showed it to you. <laughs> Dr. Punk, welcome back. And Maggie and Jack Jack, thank you. What does Canepas taste like? Well, they call them like many things. Like one of the names is like Spanish lime. Uh, Spanish lime. It's citrusy and it's very sweet, but it's not sour, you know? Meggy and Megs, thank you so much. Fruit Farm website, miamifruit.org. Make sure you go to .org. But if you just type in Miami Fruit, it'll come up. Hey Kane, do you ever do concerts? I haven't performed live in over three years. I would love to, but when I'm, I wanted to book a farewell show in Philly, but none of the venues reached back out to me. No, no, being honest, no one reached out. Like no one reached back out. I was trying to put some money in their pocket. You know what I mean? Punk Rose. What's up, Punk Rosa? What's up, Brian? I hope y'all are doing well, yo. Fruit, fruit for thought, you know? Someone said they're gonna regret that. Oh, the venues in Philly? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna hit them over the head when it comes to the price, like, down the road, you know what I mean? <laughs> Whatever. I was performing once, at least once a month for the past however many years, like, seven years before that. I've been making music for the past 10. So I'm not really worried um, about it, you know? I've, I've had so much experience being on stage that, you know, I'm, I'm not a stage fright, pre-show jitters kind of guy. That's where I feel like I can finally like let, my, let loose and, and be free and be myself, you know? I've always felt comfortable on the stage. You know. Some people just got their thing. Carter, Kia Sunrise, your boy, thank you. What's the thing about myself I'm the most proud of? Spyro and Trunk, thank you. Trippy Hippie, thank you. Um, the thing about myself I'm most proud of is that I, even when it's wrong or not the wise choice, I do things my way and I stick with it. And when I stick with it long enough, I end up figuring out how to do it while still doing it my way. Sometimes it can be stubborn and uh, sometimes it isn't the wisest choice, but I stay true to, to me. Like I, I, I I, I don't I don't lie to myself. Do you wash the fruit? Nah. I'm low maintenance. Reed Mayfell, Melissa Hulling, Only Q, Gina. Thank you. Coco baby, you're amazing as well, love. Thank you. Will I ever do a meet and greet? At some point, I think so. I, I, I should do one while I'm here in Florida, right? 
I'm just, I just don't want to do anything that would um, get anyone in trouble. Like, that, it is a risky thing, because, like, you know, I don't have, like, when you do a live concert, you have, like, insurance and security and order, and if I were to just do, like, a, you know, tweet out a location, hey, y'all, meet me here, there's potential that it could not go completely right, you know? Sinner, Maria, Spyro, thank you so much. You don't seem yourself, you good? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good, bro, thank you. I, um, I, I had a little headache earlier, but I'm feeling better now, but, um, I'm just chilling. Like, I'm just not on 10 right now, like, like, jumping around and stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm relaxed. Did I record the podcast yet? No. I was supposed to the past two days, but... I was trying to get, you know, catch up on rest. Kane, would it be wrong for me to buy my girlfriend a promise ring with a tracker in it? Yeah, bro. I think it'd be pretty wrong. Um, it's not honest, man. Like, if you have to do something like that... Now, here's the thing, like... I'm not gonna try and shame you or nothing. I'm gonna try and teach you, you know? Um, and hopefully you respect me enough that you can take my advice. If you have to do something like that without telling somebody about it, then that's probably a good enough indication to let you know that it's not right, you know, that it's wrong to do. Um, I feel like what you probably could benefit from in your relationship is more communication. Um, you know, Express to your partner your concerns and your worries, but do your part to make sure that you don't make your partner feel like they're responsible for your insecurities because insecurities are within us. People can do things to make us feel better about our insecurities, but they cannot quell or take away our insecurities. Our insecurities are our own. And, um, I feel like, I feel like, honestly, something like that, like, it, it's a little, it's a little possessive, you know, but it, it is a natural thing, like, we as humans, when we really value or like somebody, we, we, we get, we get possessive, we get jealous, and we worry, but don't, but, dude, if you don't get a hold of it, it'll ruin your relationship, and you don't want that, right, so, Definitely do not go that route. But if you are constantly worried about where your partner is, if you feel like you can't trust your partner, that's gonna be a conversation that should be, that you know, that you need to have. But here's the thing, if you don't trust your partner, you shouldn't be with that partner, point blank. And if you don't trust, you know, if you don't have trust in, in a relationship, then you have nothing. Trunk full and scoos. Is it scows or scoos? Thank you. Dwight and Richardson. Thank you. Bro, you saved me. I appreciate you saying that, bro. But I didn't save you. Um, you did that. And although I'm grateful you would say that, I just want to let you know that you're the one. Whether it was something I said that motivated you or inspired you, you're the one that actually had to go do something with that energy, that inspiration. So I appreciate you saying that and thanking me, but you deserve that credit, man. You're the one that did the hard work and, you know, made some changes and progress in your life. Can you name the fruits? Yeah, this one is Jim. I'm gonna name this one Jim. I don't know why. These these guys, there's a lot of them. But for example, like Ted, 
Fred, Ed, Ned, Jedediah, also known as Jed, um, Ed, Steve, and Darnell. This, Becky Lynn, uh, Sean. No, I'm kidding. Um, these are Rambutan. See, I let my jokes go out a little longer than I need to. This is Rambutan, similar to Lychee. This is a lot of different names. Lemoncio, Mamon, Mamoncio, Kinepas, Ginep, Kinep. This is Yellow Pattaya, Yellow Dragon Fruit. Uh, excuse me, Grenadilla. Cacao. They're, they're currently giving these away on Miami Fruit if you want to get one. All you gotta do is pay for the shipping. MiamiFruit.org. And this is watermelon. It, it was a watermelon, but I scooped it out. And it's a seeded watermelon. So please do not try to invoke the spirit of Dr. Sebi to haunt me for eating a seed, seedless watermelon. Rest in peace. What is the website to get the fruit? MiamiFruit.org What's my least favorite fruit? The golden delicious apples. Are you in love? I'm in love with myself. Am I open to falling in love? Hell yeah. I would absolutely, um, I would absolutely love that. Can they ship to Michigan? I think so. You just gotta go check it out. The website could tell you better than I can. been to Texas? Not yet. But I'll be going through Texas soon. Optimistic. Thank you, Optimistic and Prescott. Welcome back. Thank you. And yo, thank you to everyone that's still tapping and sharing, man. We're almost at 500 shares and we, we passed half a milli really early tonight. Thank you. When am I hitting the road again? I don't know. I like it down here in Florida so far. I um, I really like being down here, man. And uh, I didn't know I would like it so much. And um, of course, no, I'm not gonna let anything. Thank you for that. Who sent that? Lolita Thompson, thank you for the roses. Stale Bread, thank you for the finger heart. The Goth Baby sent the travel with you and went to Dubai, thank you. But yeah, um, I'm not in a rush like to get out to LA. Like, I know that I, I'm, I mean, I'm not gonna not go out there. Like, I have to, it's, it's part of my course. Like, I have to, you know, do things out there. I got business out there. But I'll be honest, man, my main priority and focus is just keeping up with my content and taking care of myself. So, so long as I'm doing that, I don't care where I'm at. I just knew I had to go see something different than Philly, you know? Jeeps and Petsy Fu, welcome back, thank you. Layla. Layla De, Layla De Stef, is it De Stefano or De Stefano? Layla Di Stefano, thank you for saying to use the code Kane. I always forget to do that. Thank you. Divine Bia and Jeeps. Thank you. But I'm not gonna lie, y'all. Like, 
I um, I've got, you know, that there, there's something going on in my life that I, I I I would like to see through, if possible, currently. So, yeah, I'm working on finding the balance of Alpha Bigs and. EXT Riley, thank you. But wait, who just sent that galaxy? I gotta thank you. Where the heck? It's so hard to scroll up. Um, your dad, Juan, thank you for the sweet dreams. And no, I'm not sad, y'all. I just read someone's comment. I'm not sad. I had a headache earlier, but I'm, I'm chilling, you know? Jeeps are for girls sent, uh, sent love you. Jeff Ringles sent weights. Thank you. Who's your favorite artist? Kane Kerner. Your dad, Juan, sent the galaxy. Thank you. Yeah, excuse me. Oh. What fruit am I eating? Right now, I'm about to eat some grenadilla. Okay. Eat the ginnips. Yeah, I'm gonna eat them. I'm gonna eat them ne next. It's the only thing about eating getting up is like it's you're, you just pretty much watch me put something in my mouth and then just sit there for a bit, you know. Where the heck am I? I've been hanging out and staying with the Miami Fruit folks. Your dad Juan and Jackie, thank you. Hazel, thank you for the chill. And Lolita Thompson, thank you. Spyro, thank you so much, y'all. I, I appreciate you all, you know what I mean? Showing love and being here. Thank you. I see you in here a lot. You said thought you said it was cheaper to stay in your car? Oh yeah, it is. But luckily, man, there's some kind people in this world that, uh, they're willing to let me rock out with them for a bit and hang, you know? Oh, hold on, my legs hurt from sitting like that. Okay. All right. Hi, Diana. Can you please eat the watermelon? I just ate half of it, babe. I don't... <laughs> I don't feel like eating a whole watermelon. Oh, a mere 12. I'm sorry, brother. I hope you're doing all right, buddy. I'm, you said I'm ordering from Miami Fruit? Oh yeah, dude, you just gotta use, um. just type in Cain, C-A-I-N. It's not gonna be the biggest, you know what I mean? Dish can't in the world, but it'll help some. It does something, I think, you know? Hold on. Are you from New York? Nah, I'm from Philly, bro. What did the orange thing taste like? Grenadilla tastes a lot like, it reminds me of like pina colada. How did I fall in love with myself? I feel like it's something that's like a process. Like I didn't just fall in, fall into it, but I try to take my time and treat myself well, you know? I try to make sure that I do things that help me feel proud of myself and feel productive. Spyro, thank you for the hat and mustache. Little babe, thank you for the roses. How tall am I? I'm 5'9". Sabas Hibrito, thank you for the likes, thank you. How tall are you? Yeah, I'm 5'9". And yeah, lychee and rambutan, they, yeah, they definitely have like a grape-like taste. You thought I was six foot? Nah, baby. God, uh, God, God didn't want to make me too powerful. I'm already, you know, wait, hold on. I'm already more powerful than Clover Cage. 
you know? So I, I didn't want to, you know, I got to get nerfed a little bit. You said if Beta was a person. Oh, man, your mother likes me, though, brother. Wait, who's that girl in your picture? Oh, you make music, too? Yo, you should diss me in a rap so that I could uh, show you how much better I am than you at music. That'd be great. Oh, I just blocked him. <laughs> your voice is relaxing. Thank you. Am I spiritual? I mean, in my own ways. I would say I have my own personal spiritual practices, but I'm not, um, why did you block them? Oh, he doesn't deserve to, um, he doesn't deserve to see me or be in my presence, even if it's just the internet, you know? I, um, I don't believe in all that, like, I want my haters to see me stuff. I don't believe that a hater deserves to have the privilege to, uh, hang out with me or us, you know? Hopefully that makes sense. Fruit for thought. Where can I find your music? Oh, you, wherever. Um, everywhere but Pandora. Pandora doesn't like me. I don't know why. But if you type in my name, Kane Kerner, you'll find me. Where do you buy your fruit? Miami fruit. Yeah, the Miami fruit gave me all this. Spyro, thank you. You said there's no place to type in Kane. You know, no, there is. Once you get to the actual ordering process, they ask you for a code. What am I eating? These are rambutans. These are ganep, canepas, yellow dragon fruit, raw cacao. Spyro, thank you for subbing, yo. What school did I go to? High school, I went to uh, Kappa in Philly. This one's gonna be a double, hold on. Do I refrigerate my dragon fruit? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I definitely do. Alley Cat, welcome back. And Roberta, thank you, Roberta. Did I go to college? Hell no. I went to, um, I went and hung out at other people's dorm rooms and stuff, but I never went to college. What do you do for a living? I make content on the internet talking about mental health maintenance and emotional literacy while eating fruit. I sell a lot of merch, fruit for thought. And um, I've been making music for the past 10 years. Yeah, Kane Kerner is my real name and my, my artist name. What does cacao taste like? <clears throat> Excuse me. It's like a dark chocolate bean wrapped in a fruity jelly. Why are you laying like that? I just want to be comfortable, man. I don't know. What? Oh, so what? Men can't, men can't lie down right now? We can't be comfy and cozy? What the hell? You want me to stand up? You want me to, you want me to, <laughs> you want me to squat? Do you inhale the green plant? Nah, man. I meditate every day and I'm I'm just completely I'm three years completely sober. I um Yeah I don't do that no more. Thank you for the congrats, y'all. I appreciate it. For some people, it's a good thing. Like, they, they, they know how to find a balance, but I was never good at the balance. What does dragon fruit taste like? It tastes like a pear and a kiwi had a baby, but the flavor didn't load all the way. What, are, what color are my eyes? They're blue. 
Hey, Kane, how's your day been? Liv, what's up, Liv? I'm doing great. How, how was your day? Tony Rose and Viva La Dolce. Thank you. Do you play an instrument? Nah, man. I let other people do that crap. <laughs> I'm a vocalist. I sing and rap and write lyrics. I gotta let other people, I, I gotta, you know, I'm not trying to take everyone's job, you know? What's my life story? Childhood to teens to now? Well, long story short, I was born in a helicopter crash. Got revenge on the people that took my family out, only to find that my family was still living. Got married, dumped her on her, you know, kicked her to the curb, wanted me for my money. I was around 17 at that time. Um, enlisted in the war, became, uh, ran away, woke up, all of it was a dream. And, and uh, then I, you know, now I'm here. No, baby, I don't, I don't, like, I, I can't tell you my life story right now. The fuck? <laughs> I gotta write a book. You know what I mean? You gotta buy the damn book. Just listen to my music or, or listen to, go check out my podcast. That's the best way to get some insight on my past. How much money do you spend on fruit a week? Okay, y'all want me to sling my damn feet so bad? All right, look. There you go. Y'all want me to do the feet thing? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> How much money do I spend on fruit a week? Like eight eight thousand billion dollars, dude. Lorena, you like that? White Angel, Petra, Joseph, Melissa, thank you. Smiley, damn right, that EBT be coming in. You found my music on Spotify? Hell yeah. ZM Film said, how's Elden Ring Girl? <laughs> Lovely as ever. Tyreek Hill and Chaos, thank you. Tip on how to pick the right pineapple. I, whenever I buy a pineapple, I want to eat it that night or tomorrow. Make sure it's yellow all the way around. Like, Make sure it's got some orange to it. And then eat it, dog. Donkey. You're a real king. Takes one to know one. Takes one to know one. What's my music name? Kane Kerner. C-A-I-N-K-E-R-N-E-R. -E -E Piper Lamar said, Your, my favorite song of yours is Movie Star. Thank you. Thank you. Are you always a smart ass asking for a friend? Hell yeah, I was raised that way. Am I still on the trip? Yeah, I, I, I just been hanging in Florida, man. I like it down here. Wait, thoughts on Kiwi? I like it. Sicy, welcome back. Is it Sicy or Siesi? WV Kel, thank you for checking me out on YouTube. Thank you. Wood Pusher, thank you. And your dad, Juan, thank you for the bumper cars. Love Bug, yes, I am on Spotify. Vanessa Purr, thank you. Someone said I look like I belong in a coming of age movie. Yeah, 27 years of age, they're, they're gonna have me playing a damn high schooler on Netflix and Hulu and stuff. What you saying, I'ma do some like River Phoenix type movies, some, you know what I mean? Stand by me stuff. Do you have a YouTube channel? I do, we, we just hit 10K subscribers on there. Yeah. Kane Kerner, I'm the same name everywhere. Where do I get the cacao? Miami Fruit. If you go to miamifruit.org, they're doing a giveaway where all you gotta do is pay for the shipping. Lindsay, thank you, Lindsay. Am I gonna move to Florida? Probably, dude. Probably. 
probably. Yeah. Probably gonna end up moving down here. But I'm definitely gonna go out to LA. I, I got work to do, you know? Uh, nothing's gonna come in between me furthering my music career and my acting, you know? But I definitely can see myself having like a place or something in, in Florida. I'll figure it out. Kennedy Watt, thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you appreciate the videos. Thank you. 800K, heckin' yeah, dude. Let's go. Is my diet expensive? Nah, man. It, it, it's tricky, though. It takes a lot of balance. You have to know how to, like, really listen to your body. Like I eat, I do eat meat, but it's 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 rare compared to how much I used to eat it. I'm probably gonna end up getting that out of the way soon. Um, but yeah, a lot of fresh fruits, raw fruits and vegetables. Is there music playing? Yes, some lo-fi stuff. What's the spiky thing I ate? Rambutan. R-A-M-B-U-T-A-N. K Milan, what up, love? Do you um get tired of eating the same fruit? Mm -mm. I'm cool with being consistent, you know? What's the green things I've been eating? Canepas. There's a lot of different names for them. Why did I leave Philly? I felt like there was more out here for me to go check out, you know? How's the beach woman? <laughs> She's lovely, man. She's incredible. Cool person. Where do I buy my fruits? Miami fruit. While I was on the road coming down to visit them, I was just getting it from local markets, but Miami fruit, they got the best. River rods, thank you, river rods. And yes, my favorite fruit is watermelon. Was I homeless? I've been without like a permanent residence for a while, yeah. I um, I was sleeping in my car at some points. I was crashing with family. Like I was staying at my uncle's for a while. I was staying with my friend Ruffin for a while. The last apartment I had, I, I had a place in West Philly, but I didn't renew my lease there. I just said, screw it, I'm gonna travel, you know? It's Shay's world. Gotta be patient. You know the vibe. Have I watched Seven Deadly Sins? No, I've never watched it. Have you had Longin? Oh yeah, I've had Longin. Born and raised Philly. J. Cruz. Oh, I see what you did there. Must be, yeah, yeah. <laughs> J. Cruz. <laughs> When's the next podcast episode coming out? I still have to record it. I still have to record it. Is it Yanelli or Yaniel? You had to scroll through a lot of videos to find me. I'm glad you're here. Thank you for going through all that trouble. Kane, where did you get the fruits? Miami fruit. Yeah. You sound sick. I think I'm. I, I was dehydrated. I've been out in the sun. But, um. I have to start drinking more water while I'm down here. I gotta get used to it, you know? You ever had sugar apple? Yeah. Yeah. I've had sugar apple. Did my nose ring switch sides? Mm-mm. I, I, I flipped the screen. 
What's my sign? I'm a Pisces. I'm a Pisces. Piece of jit. I'm a piece of jit. Nah, Pisces. What happened to Ruffin? He's doing all right. He's still doing his... He's killing it with the music, man. He Some music recently came out that he produced for John Legend. Um, and not to put him on blast, but, like, he told me recently in the live that he, like, had to go... Went to the ER for some health concerns, and they discharged him, saying nothing was wrong with him. I've been trying to text him, and I haven't gotten a response. That I, and, and that happens. Sometimes... He gets overwhelmed with like communication. That's my friend. I know how he works, you know. But if something was wrong, I, I would I, I would have been kept in the loop and informed. But you know, I'd be worrying about him. That's my dog, man. I remember he had like he had some like digestion stuff going on a while ago. I'm like, his real name is Joseph, you know what I mean? I'm like, Joe? I'm like, I don't know who did this, but I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna get those sons of bitches. He's like, Kane. He's like, <laughs> he's like, I have digestion. I'm like, I don't care. I'm like, I don't care. It, 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 the streets aren't safe for them. I'm getting them. What's the most uncommon... Can you eat? What the fuck did this girl say? I'm um, excuse me. What the crap did this girl say? Oh, what the fuck? Eh, whatever. Taste the cocoa beans. Ah, oh, fuck. I've been eating them all damn night, babe. I'm oh, gonna a damn cocoa bean. You ever eat it? You know, it, it's like a dark chocolate bean wrapped in a fruity jelly. It's good. They're giving them away. They're giving them away on the Miami Fruit website. All you gotta do is pay for shipping. There you go. You could try one too instead of forcing me to eat it. <laughs> no, it's good. I just. I'm eating the damn dragon fruit, baby. Is it bad to have too much fruit? I don't think so. Depends on who you ask. Yeah, you have been asking for a little bit, baby. I'm sorry if I'm being um a little spicy. You know what I mean? <sighs> Hold on, this guy said I'd give him a bad vibe. Well, I'm not gonna be able to give you any fucking vibe now. I'm blocking you, Goofy. There you go. Problem solved. <laughs> Are you ever gonna do a meet and greet? I was talking about it a little earlier. I um, I will, but I want to make sure everyone's safe, and I want to make sure that I don't like you know break any laws and uh, compromise my freedom. You know, so I don't know what the heck. Uh, I, you know, it's different with um, what is it? It's different with like concerts because there's insurance and security and things, but. Yeah. Did I have a beautiful day? Thank you for asking. Yeah, I think so. Thank you for asking. I hope you had one as well. Do you eat fruit every meal? No. What was the strangest or most interesting fruit I ate? I think I would say it's dur dur it would be durian or monstera. Monstera Deliciosa. <clears throat> oh God, he blocked this girl too. Good Lord. Talking about some cult leader vibes. I'm from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, girl. What the hell? You talking about some damn cult? We don't play that shit in that weird ass white people shit. You know what? What's my skincare routine? I use Cetaphil face wash because it's um, 
non comedogenic, you know? Those in cloud can pours. Dark 19, thank you. Tyreek Hill, you heard that? Yeah, bro, like, they be trying to pin me with that, that crazy white people stuff. I'm cool, bro. I'm not on that. What song of mine do I hold dearest to my heart? That's a good question. You're feeding my ego a little bit. Uh, my song, Wine. W-I-N-E. You should try the fruit that looks like corn. I posted a video of me eating it today. All you gotta do is go look at it. Hey, shout out to Guyana. Thank you for being here, beautiful. I appreciate y'all. Rosabella, thank you. What am I eating right now? This is Kinepas. How long did it take to grow my hair out? I don't know. I don't know. A couple of years. Does Miami Fruit ship to KC? I'm pretty sure they would. You just gotta check on their website. Carolyn and Dina Spencer. Thank you so much. What's your favorite type of fruit? Watermelon. I like watermelon the best. What's one thing that made you smile today? Swimming. I went swimming and it made me happy. And um, talking on the phone with somebody that I really like. Am I Puerto Rican? People have been asking me that since I was a kid, especially in the summertime. Um, nah, nah, I, I'm just a white dude from Philly, bro. Shelby Schaefer, thank you for saying to tap the screen. I appreciate that. 904 Nate said, just listened to, uh, I needed to vent. Thank you. Thank you. Roberta Tepper. Carolyn, Melissa, thank you. Izumi, what's up? Olivia Neiman, thank you. Kane, is your watch sentimental? Hell yeah, it is. Definitely. It's very uh, sentimental to me. I've had it for years. I broke it recently, somehow. So I got a sewing needle and jammed it in this little pin through the, the bracket thing and then clip the end so I can keep wearing it. What do I like about watermelon? Um, it was one of the first fruits I remember loving as a child. Started listening to your podcast today. When's the next episode coming out? Um, when I record it. I haven't recorded it yet. What are the green things? Canepas, Guinea, Mamon, Mamoncio. Wagwan, Wagwan. Big up. Boop, boop. <laughs> What's up, bro? Will you ever cut your hair? Hell yeah, definitely. Here's the thing, everyone always says like, oh, you should cut your hair and donate it. I'm definitely doing that. But my plan, I know this sounds crazy, but it's, that's, it's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna get myself to a level of notoriety or success or fame or whatever enough so that I can actually auction off the hair and then they're gonna donate the physical hair and I'm gonna donate the money they paid for the hair as well as the hair. That's the plan I've always had. So, when I cut my hair, just know there was a bag exchanged for it, all right? And if that doesn't happen, oh no, 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 no. It's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. That's how it works. 
Yeah. I'm not going to cut it until I'm getting some bread that I can really kick it out. But either way, the hair is going to go towards making like wigs and stuff, you know. How short will you cut your hair? Oh, completely. I'm going to bick it like completely bald. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get the neo. <laughs> I'm gonna start wearing the fedoras and the and the hats with no brim. Like she's gonna things. No, I'm gonna cut it, Yogini. I'm gonna cut it, love. I'm, I'm gonna have to at some point, you know. But won't you come and spend a little time? I'm gonna get lined up. I'm gonna have to push my shit back. Crazy, bruh. <laughs> Would you ever consider braiding your hair? Yeah, I just, I, I can't braid. I can barely tie my shoes, you know. Was my hair long as a kid? For a little bit, but I had pretty short hair. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've had my hair braided before, but it was always done by, like, whoever I was dating at the time, you know? How are the Gannettes? They're damn good. We hit that milli. Hey. How many girlfriends? <clears throat> Excuse me, in total, like ever or currently? Because currently I ain't, you know, like three. Kidding, it's a joke, terrible joke. Don't worry about it. If there's any news to tell y'all, I'll be telling y'all. You'll be the first to know, right? I only see you eat fruit. Do you eat anything else? Yeah. I eat meat every now and then. But, um... I eat vegetables. I eat oatmeal. I eat, you know... A bunch of stuff. Where am I? I'm in Florida. Jake Hutchinson said music is making me fall asleep. Mm-hmm. It's a good vibe. I never was really into the lo-fi stuff much, like the chilling with it, but someone I hung out with recently is into it, and I was like, oh, this is actually pretty, like, I get it, like, now, like, it's, it's actually pretty nice, it's a good vibe. What was my job before this? Amazon. I worked at Amazon. I got fired from making a comment for um, making a TikTok. Wait, you said if you're falling asleep, you should listen to Kane's song Belt. Yeah, that'll wake everybody the heck. That'll wake everybody up. Aaliyah Monique, you know it. Listening to Why'd You Have to Leave Right Now in Guyana. That is amazing. Thank you. Did you always go for the woke look? Oh. I don't even think I go for the woke look, to be honest with you. Um, I'm only as woke as you think I am. Uh, I mean... I'm low maintenance, you know? I'm low maintenance. Be So Easy is catchy. Oh, thank you for knowing about my music, thank you. Olivia, thank you, love. Kane is top G. <laughs> nah, bro, that's Andrew Tate, bro, but thank you. 
Happy birthday, Kason. Is it Kason or Kasan? Happy birthday, bro. Do you listen to XXX Tentacion? Yeah, I listen to him a lot. I was a real big fan. And one of my biggest musical influences. Kimmy, thank you, Kimmy. I appreciate you. Mr. Targart and Castro, thank you. Where do, we, where do we find your music? You just gotta go uh, look my name up. Kane Kerner. C-A-I-N-K-E-R-N-E-R. -E -E Is Beach Babe on the live? I don't think so. But nah, I wouldn't be surprised. It'd be pretty cool. I don't mind. Do you not eat meat? No, I, I, I do. Not often anymore, but I do. Drew, thank you, Drew. Do you eat fruit? Yeah. Jay Smack, no problem, bro. Favorite place to film in public? Mm, somewhere shady, not burning in the sun. H Nugget and XO Reagan. Thank you. Would you date outside your race? I've I've always dated outside of my race. Um I've dated white women like too, but like every every relationship I've been in since like 2011-2012 has been with uh somebody outside of my race. But you know, I've had like experiences and little one-offs with a you know a bunch of people, white white women included, you know, white women included. Flavors of God said, "I know you don't answer to anyone who doesn't send anything." Oh no, but they deserve to be shouted out and thanked directly for doing something that they just don't have to do, like Drew and Only Q and Guiding Light. Mackin, thank you. Like, you know, they deserve Tasha. Like, thank you. Like, they deserve to be thanked directly. But, um, I do actually respond to a lot of questions that, uh, from people that don't send anything. You don't have to send anything. You just being here is enough, you know. Your fave rapper for. <laughs> they kill, kill John Lennon. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the um the sleeper cell animal memes where they're like kill John Lennon and the cats all I love that shit. Have you ever had yellow watermelon? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Duster Buster, thank you. Thank you, brother. Dragon fruit makes you you know what. Oh yeah, it does. <laughs> oh yeah, it does. It makes you go. Who's a rapper you want to meet? <laughs> I mean, you know, Kanye is my biggest influence when it comes to like that, you know, but I love Jay-Z. But more than anything, I would like to work with Tyler, the creator. We have the same birthday. Different years, but I'd like to, I, I want him to produce an entire album for me. And um, I'd like to meet Andre 3000. Just hang out with him. I don't know. Go visit like a museum or some shit. Like a bro date, you know? Get coffee. What would you do if you met Andrew Tate? Oh, arm bar. Throw him right in an arm bar. Throw him right in an arm bar. Snap it like a like a ruler. 
what do you want me to say? Like, I, I, I'd be like, yo, bro, like, you're, you're really smart. I love what, what you're doing with the marketing and promotion. You're a hell of a kickboxer. Please don't knock my head off my shoulders. Top G, you know what I mean? All right, let's go hang out in the Bugatti, you know? Let's take it off road. Canepas, <laughs> see? K Milan. Um, I don't know, I wanna perform all over the world, but whenever I, it's a, it's a dream that I had a couple times where like I'm performing at Coachella and for some reason I launch my shoes into the crowd. I don't care how expensive they are or whatever, but like I'm gonna, I'm gonna like wiggle my shoes off and then just launch them into the crowd. Like, like, you know, punt them into the crowd. Uh. Excuse me. Do you agree with Andrew Tate? No. Sometimes. Something means he's intelligent, but I don't agree with everything. But a lot of what he says, there's a lot of truth in the things he said. Do you know? But I believe a lot of his stuff is entertainment. What color is my Bugatti? <laughs> I don't got no damn. Um, coffee. Coffee colored. Uh, Bugatti. Bugatti. Bark for Tay. Thank you. You should ask your crush out. I already have. But like, I'm, before we go out, I just want to take a nap. Does the king respond? <laughs> one, 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 Ange, what's up? Ms. Sexy, I just saw your, me I just saw your message, I'm sorry. When did you choose to go from just developing yourself to sharing? That's a good question. And what I decided was that ra rather than trying to wait until I get to some perfect plateau or level where I deemed myself good enough to give advice, I just figured why not give advice while I'm gaining it? Why not give insight as I go along? I, I'm, I nor any of us will ever be at a place where we feel like we are truly enough. So I figure like, why not just take people along with me for the ride? You know? How do you, how do they deliver you fruit while you're in Florida? Well, when I was in Philly, they would just mail it to me. The, the, they mail it, they mail it to, it, it gets to you the day after they ship it. So it, it's all refrigerated and in good, in good standing, you know, it's, it's ready. Um, but on the road, I had to, I had to let them know, like, hey, we got to pause the shipments because I'm not going to be there to get them. I'm going to be driving down to Florida. And they were like, oh, like, come visit us. So now that I'm in Florida, like, I just go, go, to, I just go to them. I'm like, hey, guys. Hey, Kane. <laughs> Need any fruit? I'm like, hey, yeah, let me get that and that and just hang out, you know. Cool people. Would I move to Mars when Elon's done with it? Nah. I'm gonna die on Earth, bro. I, um... I'm not... I, I got I got a lot of things and people that I appreciate here. I'm not really worried about going somewhere else. What made you want to do what you're doing? It's a good question. I feel like even before I knew that music and acting was the way I wanted to do it, since I was a kid, I just always wanted to, I wanted to inspire people like the people that I looked up to inspired me. And most of the people that inspired me were actors and musicians and artists. So my brain registered it like, okay, if I want to inspire people, I got to be a musician or an artist. But I thought that I would have to be like immensely successful before people would be inspired by me. 
past 10 years making music, past couple years before that doing acting. Mr. Targard, thank you. And Sydney, welcome back, love. Thank you. Um, fast forward all that time, you know, now I, I started at TikTok and I was, I was jobless and I was still really fresh in my sobriety and like mental health, like, you know, journey and videos started taking off. So I figured like, yeah, I got to keep, I got to keep doing it. I just, that's it. You know, the, excuse me. Your voice helped my daughter fall asleep. That's what's up. Happy to hear that. Anxious, self-made, and it's your girl, Tier. No Pac, thank you. Do you meditate every day? Mm -hmm. You don't seem like yourself today? No, I'm, I'm just chilling. I had a headache earlier and I still kind of have one, but I got to drink more water. Mm -hmm. Do you like Denzel Washington? Of course. Mm -hmm. Am I afraid to die? No. Especially not nowadays. My one little insignificant glimmer of a life in the whole history that is humanity somehow was through the internet able to reach millions of people I'm not really that worried about it you know um between now and whenever my my physical life ends I know that how I made people feel is gonna live on longer than me. You know? So, so, uh, I'm just focused on trying to make people feel a little better while I'm here. Directly, indirectly, whatever. What acting company did you work with? I was with William Morris Agency in Los Angeles and I was with Innovative Artists in New York. Not alone in how you think and feel? Exactly. I just want to help as many people feel less alone in what they think and feel as I can before I die. And I'm going to do it through my TikToks, my podcasts, my music, my acting, my life, whatever. Self-made, your dad, Juan. Kayla, thank you, Kayla Hayner. As a kid, what was your dream? To be a to be a world famous actor and musician. To be an artist, you know. Do you believe in God? Yes. No question. As Nana Dream, thank you. I appreciate you. I hope the same for you. Yeah, I make all genres of music, you know? Got a little bit of everything. Max Lino, JSR, Self Made. No, JS214, thank you. Self Made, you are snapping, brother. Thank you. I appreciate you. Damn. Have you ever been jealous of someone else's fame? Of course. I was jealous of Mac Miller. I was jealous of, uh, I was jealous of um, XXXTentacion. I was jealous of Logic. I was jealous of um, even a little bit of Jack Harlow. Jealous of uh, Timothy Chalamet. I've even been jealous of some of my closest friends. 
But then what I realized was I'm, I'm missing out on a valuable opportunity to learn from these people because I just can't get past this jealousy crap. I wanted to succeed so bad that I, was, I, was, I wasn't allowing myself to recognize that me being able to witness the success and the progress of others was a privilege. So something clicked a couple years ago where now when I see people succeeding and when I see people doing the things that I wish to do, I, I, I just take a moment to be grateful that I'm allowed to see that it's possible. Because if somebody else can do something, why the hell can't I? You know, if they can do it, why can't you? Where did I get the seeded watermelon? So all of this is from Miami fruit, like the cacao, the, the uh, canipas the yellow dragon fruit, all of that. This, this watermelon was from Sprouts. Mizzle for Shizzle said, you're invited to all the powwows, little brother. Yo, thank you, brother. I appreciate, yo, man. I'll tell you what, like, I try to be mindful, especially being a white dude and, like, dabbling into other cultures and stuff. Like, you know, I want to be respectful. I don't want to, you know, what's the word, appropriate and all that. But I'll tell you, I'd be lying if I if I said that I wasn't interested in like, yeah, you know I mean, like the native culture, man. Um, y'all y'all have a beautiful, beautiful bloodline and and history that I feel like we weren't taught enough about in the public school systems. Just some completely whitewashed history stuff, you know. So I appreciate that, bro. Thank you. Have you ever been to Spain? I haven't been out of the country yet. I just got my passport like two years ago and COVID happened, you know. K Mulan. Thank you, love. Kane, are you ready for fame? Yeah. Give me a couple weeks though. Jokes aside, like I'm, I'm soaking up. I can feel it. I'm soaking up the last couple weeks or months or whatever, until, you know, before something happens in a good way. I, I can tell, you know. Do you want kids? Oh yeah, I'm gonna have kids at some point. Probably like when I'm 32. <clears throat> Excuse me. Someone asked where I see myself in five years. In five years, I'm probably going to have a family or be starting one. Reba. Thank you, Reba. Yeah. I don't mind getting... I don't mind... Like, I, I think I can maintain certain aspects of privacy. Tasha, I'll look into it. I'm sorry. No pock and self-made. Thank you. And Bradley, I do actually make like rock stuff every now and then. I just haven't had enough friends to make a band. But yeah, like even most rappers nowadays, bro. Like just because I rap doesn't mean that like, you know, technically, yeah, I could be considered a rapper. But that's not, that doesn't explain all of it, you know. Are you married or in a relationship? Nah. And Miles, what up, Miles? How you doing, bro? Are you in all, Are you in L.A.? Nah, I'm in Florida. I'm in Florida. I'm just hanging out. 
Izumi and self-made. Thank you. All right, but look, y'all, I'm not even going to lie. I still got, like, a little bit of a headache, man. Um, I'm going to, um, I'm going to, I'm going to go t- get some rest, all right? The next podcast, Lauren Santiago, it'll be coming out in a, when I record it. I haven't recorded it yet. Your comments are not irrelevant, Ambreezy. I'm sorry. It's just, it's hard to keep up, you know. It's not easy. I ate half a watermelon earlier. I'm sorry. And Tasha, I'll, um, Tasha, I'll, I'm going to look into it. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Kayla, thank you. No food? Oh, no, I, I just ate a whole bunch of I just ate a whole bunch of it. Yeah, we were live all night. Your dad, Juan. Thank you. Thank you, Juan. Yeah, I'm going to drink some water, y'all. Jackfruit next time? Definitely, I will. Definitely will. All right, I love y'all. I'll see y'all tomorrow, okay? Thank y'all for being here. I'll be going live around the same time, like 9, 9 o'clock, you know? All right. I hope y'all have a good night. Y'all be safe. And um, like I said, link in bio for the shirts and all. Um, I have the link to Miami Fruit on my website, kankerner.com. You go on there. My YouTube, my podcast, all of that, all right? Are you sober? Yeah, three years. I, I hit three years of sobriety, February 15th. Your dad, Juan, thank you. All right. I love y'all. I'll see y'all tomorrow, okay? All right, thank you. Bye.